Welcome to Crazy Contraptions Episode 1. In this video series, I'll show off contraption setups, break down how each contraption works, and give you ideas for how to use them. Today's topic, changing on-off blocks by looking left or looking right. Let's get started. The contraption comes to us from an incredible course called Direction Detection. The setup looks like this and can work in every retro game style. When Luigi faces to the right, red blocks will be active. But if he switches to the left, blue blocks will be active. He can also move and change direction mid-air, and this contraption will work regardless of where he is. Now how does this contraption work? The boo is the heart and soul of this operation. It always moves towards Luigi when he's not looking. So we put a boo in a Koopa Clown car, which makes it so that the boo can't move through the wall and that the boo will bounce when running into a wall. The gentle slope on top makes it so that the clown car bounces exactly away from it towards the note block below. That note block will bounce downward and push the spring down into a P-switch. The spring will bounce back without activating the P-switch while moving low enough to bounce the shell that's underneath. It's very important, by the way, to put a semi-solid under the P-switch so it doesn't move on the conveyor belt. In order to move the shell to be against the P-switch or against the on-off block, we use an on-off conveyor belt. This is important to make sure that the block is triggered a single time when Luigi changes directions, instead of the block getting hit continuously. If the shellment is currently touching the P-switch, the trampoline will launch it to hit the on-off block. But if the shellment is currently against the on-off block, the trampoline won't hit it when it's pushed downward. This extra note block above the on-off stops the shell from spinning, and it makes it so that the shell will reset faster. Now that we've got the setup and we know how it works, let's see what ideas we can use with this. We can make some jumping challenges where you need to change direction mid-jump to open up the pathway forward. You could use bullet blasters on on-off conveyors as a moving platform to get across. You can use sideways trampolines and ice blocks to slide and bounce while changing direction to open the pathway. Use claws on an on-off track combined with on-off blocks to create challenges where you need to get stuck in the blocks while changing the track direction. We can create a fun classic Pong style room where we use on-off conveyors to move a lava bubble to burn frozen coin blocks. We can always do the classic on-off Escort a Koopa style room to get a key from a note block. Or we can do an intense boss where you need to constantly change direction to keep space between closing walls while attacking a Koopaling. For 30 things to do when you're bored in Mario Maker 2, click on the video on the screen right now. For more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.